Assalomu alaykum, hurmatli yurtdoshlar. Uz Report TV telekanali o'zining to'g'ridan-to'g'ri efirlarini davom ettiradi. Biz yana bir bor jonli efirdamiz. Bizni endi tomosha qilayotganlar uchun aytib o'tamiz. Bugun 1-sentyabr kuni mamlakatimizning mustaqillik kuni keng miqyosda nishonlanmoqda. Shunday bo'lishiga qaramasdan, 1-4-sentyabr kunlari oldin ham ko'p bor ta'kidlaganimizdek, mamlakatimizda Islamic Development Bank, ya'ni Islom taraqqiyot bankining yillik yig'ilishi bo'lib o'tishi rejalashtirilgan. Bugun yig'ilishning 1-kuni, biroq ertaga 2-sentyabr kuni rasmi ochilish marosimi bo'lib o'tadi. Bugundan bu yig'ilishning tadbirlari boshlangan. Yuqorida ham ko'p bor aytib o'tganimizdek, bu yig'ilish doirasida a'zo 57 mamlakatdan bir qancha vakillar, bundan tashqari 2000 dan ortiq biznes doira vakillari, tadbirkorlar, ommaviy axborot vositalari xodimlari ishtirok etmoqda. Bugun erta tongdan yig'ilishning tadbirlari protokolga ko'ra bo'lib o'tmoqda va yana shu narsani aytib o'tishimiz kerakki, bir qancha imzolash, ya'ni memorandumlarni imzolash marosimlari ham bo'lib o'tdi. Tashkilotning prezidenti Muhammad Sulaymon Al-Jassir ham shaxsan bu yig'ilishda ishtirok etmoqda. U 29-avgust kuni mamlakatimizga tashrif buyurgan edi va yana yuqorida ham aytib o'tdik, prezident yaqindagina saylangan va O'zbekiston uning ilk xorijiy tashrifi bo'lib turibdi. Va bizda mehmonlar bor, ularning fikrlari va aynan bu yig'ilishdan ko'zlangan maqsad xususida so'raymiz va ular General Council for Islamic Banks and Financial Institutions, ya'ni moliya institutlari va islomiy banklar bosh assambleyasining bosh kotibi Abdillah Belatik, Mr. Abdillah Belatik, come here please. Good afternoon, welcome to our country. Is this your first visit to Uzbekistan? Uh, first of all, yes, thank you for the invitation for this talk. Uh, this is indeed my first, my first uh, visit to the country and I'm really happy about this and I'm sure it will not be the last. There will be many others to follow. Assalomu alaykum. Avvalo suhbatga jalb qilgani uchun alohida rahmat deyman. Bu meni O'zbekistonga birinchi tashrifim va bo'ylaymanki, bu samarali bo'ladi va eng oxirgisi bo'lmaydi. And uh, Mr. Abdelillah, what do you think how important to organize this annual meeting of the Islamic Development Bank in Uzbekistan? Well, I think it's uh, very important and it is timely because uh, Uzbekistan is a very important uh, country for the Islamic community and the Organization for Islamic Cooperation. So it is just natural for Uzbekistan to be participating in this and to participating in the move for the, to see how the economic development from the Islamic perspective can participate in the economic development of uh, Uzbekistan. So I think uh, maybe it should have been done long before, but it's already very good that it is done right now. qatta ham juda ham muhim tadbir shu bilan birga aytishimiz kerak O'zbekiston aynan Islom taraqqiyot banki davlatlari ichida juda ham muhim davlat hisoblanadi va O'zbekistonda bo'layotgan bu anjuman aynan O'zbekistonni iqtisodiy barqarorligiga nazar tashlash va uni islomiy moliya bilan islomiy iqtisodiy barqarorlik bilan hamohang jihatda rivojlantirish imkonini yaratib beradi And what do you think, how uh, comfortable are the opportunities of this uh, cooperation with this Islamic Development Bank? I think, um, in general, uh, not only the Islamic Development Bank, but uh, in, uh, the representatives of the Islamic economy in general, and there are many, uh, of course, the Islamic de Development one is, is the biggest and is a development bank representing countries, uh, so it is very important. There are also many other uh, commercial banks, for instance, Islamic banks or other takaful or, or, or like uh, uh, sukuk markets uh, that can be tapped into by Uzbekistan. So I think the, the move of this uh, has been very long in many countries and we have seen, uh, for example, for Islamic finance, that there is uh, uh, high interest from Muslim countries, but not only, many of European countries. And we, we have seen recently uh, a lot of Central Asian countries like Kazakhstan, Tatarstan and, and others having interest in this. Uh, in addition to uh, like African countries, Middle East, Malaysia, Indonesia. So it's a global move and I think it is very important for a country like uh, Uzbekistan to participate in, in this and to see what are the opportunities for investment in many different areas that can contribute to the development of the country. Savol xususida ham aytib o'tishim kerak, ya'ni a'zolar uchun Islom taraqqiyot banki bilan hamkorlik qay darajada foydali deb so'raldi. Bu nafaqat Islom Taraqqiyot Bankiga a'zo davlatlar, balki boshqa davlatlar 
xususan maliyevi tashkilat, baş alqara tashkilatları için ham juda ham muhüm xüsablanadı. Bu tadbir gekilişten evvel biz juda ham kub yerlerde bollik, juda ham kub davletlerinde organik, xususan Merkezi Asya davletlerinde aynen İslam maliyesi ge bollgen kızıqışını organip, aynen bana şu Anjuman devamında uzumuz gerekli ameli neticelerine alışık e, maksat kılıp ağıyamız ve etişim gerek ki bu global rövajlanış ve Uzbekistan ham bir vasıta bana şu anjuman devamında bana şu global rövajlanış ki uzun bir vasıta kısasını kuş ve onda üstrak etişim gönlendi gibi gibi oladı. Mr. Abdelillah, speak me please the future plans of the uh, Islamic Development Bank and with Cooperation General Council for Islamic Banks and Financial Institution please. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, for the for our organization, the CBAFI, which is the global representative of uh, uh, Islamic financial institutions, the Islamic Development Bank is a founding member of CBAFI together with other uh, co commercial banks. So the, our purpose is to see how we can support countries when they want to establish Islamic finance in the country for, of course, the benefits of the country and the economic development and financial inclusion. We have had uh, yesterday Today I had uh, some meetings with the Central Bank of Uzbekistan and we discussed areas where we can collaborate further, where, where we can facilitate uh, uh, sharing experiences with other uh, banks, with the other Islamic banks and to support for example on human capital development uh, training and some other uh, on the regulation side also to help uh, the country to uh, accommodate to the Islamic finance and to accompany this move. We have seen that that uh, uh, Central Bank of Uzbekistan has plans for Islamic finance and this is very good and we look forward of course to continue cooperation to start we will be starting in the next few months some uh, uh, uh, joint initiatives and we will be happy to continue and to support the country in the introduction of Islamic finance to the country and to the region Islam Taraqiyat Bank va Maliya Institutlari va Islami banklar bosh Assembly Assemblée ham qolik masallari va ham qolik rejalari haqida hozir so'raldi. Islom moliya tashkilotining yirik vakillaridan biri hisoblangan bizning kompaniyamiz oldida ham juda ham yirik maqsadlar turibdi. Bu eng avvalo aynan islom moliyasini joriy qilishni maqsad qilgan davlatlarga ko'maklashish, aynan ularning iqtisodiyotini islom moliyasiga muvofiqlashtirish masalasini biz o'zimizga bosh maqsad qilib olganmiz va kuni kecha bo'lib o'tgan uchrashuvlar davomida ham aynan o'zaro hamkorlik nuqtalarini aniqlashga qaratilgan bir qator muzokaralarni olib bordik va o'ylaymanki, yaqin oylar ichida biz amaliy natijalarga o'tamiz. Bu oddiy seminar treninglarni tashkil etishdan tortib, keyinchalik iqtisodiyotni İslam maliyesi ki muhafızlaştırış meselelerini uzun çiğ yağladı. Mr. Abdullah, my last question for you: What do you think about Uzbekistan economy and what will the cooperation's plans with the Islamic Development Bank and what will what will be the benefits for Uzbekistan? I think in general, with I can say with the Islamic countries, other OIC members, for instance. Uh, there is there are uh, huge opportunities for cooperation uh, there are synergies between the economy here and the needs of other other countries unfortunately what we note is that uh, maybe uh, Uzbekistan is not well known with those other countries and I can mention for instance when I was coming here when I talked to friends and saying we'll be having the meetings in uh, Uzbekistan Everyone was not very sure where does this uh, Uzbekistan is. So I think it is just timely and it is very important, for example, to hold these types of events here so that people will know and people will discover the country, see that the opportunities are here. There are many, uh, what we have seen and what we hear now with some business people, that there are many uh, uh, uh, activities or an initiatives that are done in Uzbekistan and that can benefit to other OIC countries and to other African countries, for instance instance so why not uh, tap in this and promote uh, better what is the potential here what can be the exchanges with other countries O'zbekiston iqtisodiyoti va uning Islom taraqqiyot banki bilan bo'ladigan hamkorlik masalalari foydalari ustunlik jihatlari haqida hozir so'raldi Albatta Islom taraqqiyot banki ga a'zo davlatlar o'rtasida hamkorlik qilish uchun juda ham katta salohiyat mavjud, ammo shu bilan birga ta'kidlash kerakki, ba'zi bir davlatlar O'zbekiston haqida hech qanday tushunchaga ega bo'lmasligi mumkin va bevosita mana shu anjuma davomida O'zbekistonning iqtisodiy salohiyati bo'layotgan islohotlarning amaliy natijasini ko'rib, yangi hamkorlik nuqtalarini aniqlashga bu eng avvalo yordam beradi. Shu bilan birga ta'kidlashim kerakki, mazkur anjuma o'z vaqtida va kerakli joyda bo'lib o'tmoqda, chunki boshqa investorlar, xalqaro tashkilotlar aynan O'zbekistonni boy 
loyi iqtisodiy salohiyati va unda amalga oshirish mumkin bo'lgan istiqbolli loyihalarni muhokama qilish uchun muhim platforma bo'lib xizmat qiladi. Thank you so much again. Welcome to our country. I am so glad to see you in our country. Thank you for the invites. Rahmat. Rahmat. Demak, taklif o'tkalardik. Aynan bugungi yig'ilish 1-4 sentyabr kunlari bo'lib o'tadigan yig'ilish Islom taraqqiyot bankining tashabbusi bilan aynan O'zbekistonda bo'lib o'tish rejalashtirilgan. Bu borada nafaqat yig'ilish o'tkaziladi, muhim siyosiy iqtisodiy tadbirlar, balki O'zbekiston iqtisodiyoti umuman O'zbekistonning imiji xalqaro hamjamiyatga ko'rsatiladi. Va yana bir narsani aytib o'tish kerak, O'zbekistonda rejalashtirilgan bu yilgi yig'ilish chog'ida asosiy mavzu bu pandemiyadan COVID-19 pandemiyasi pandemiyadan keyingi iqtisodiy iqtisodiyot zarar ko'rgan va ijtimoiy hayot zarar ko'rgan o'sha sohalarni keyingi hamkorlik bosqichlari va keyingi tiklash ishlari asosiy mavzu bo'lib ko'riladi. Umuman olganda Islom taraqqiyot banki iqtisodiyotdagi eng yirik va eng strategik loyihalarni moliyalashtirib keladi.